YouTube, it's your boy Roy. I'm back again with a whole nother video. Yo, money if I should change or start my videos. I think what up is sounding kind of a bit corny there, you know. Is it corny me just saying what up YouTube is your boy Roland? Or should I say, should I say it's your boy Roland? Should I, should I just say what up YouTube? What's going on? What's good? <laughs> anyway, guys, today I know you see that title and you see that thumbnail. Today we are going to, um, yeah, should I call it the Honda ZZ? Honda Z? The Honda Z? <laughs> Comment down below and let me know what name we should call this Honda. But yeah, the engine's in the car. Um, I, I wasn't there when um, the tow truck guy collected the car because I was busy. So we're going to go to the house and we're going to go, go over there and we're going to... I'm going to show you guys what's going on in that engine bay, you know what I mean? I'm going to show you guys how the engine fit, what kind of fabrication the guy did, and the placement of the engine, you know what I mean? It's in, I'm telling you guys now. I'm not letting you guys wait 10 minutes in the video to see what I'm going on. I'm telling you guys now what's going on. So I'm going to go over there and I'm going to... Uh, Hold on. I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna show you guys how we set up how the engine to put in the engine because it's in. I told you guys the next video you guys are gonna see with this car is gonna be the engine in the car. Bolt up. It's bolted up in the car. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's good. This car's coming good. The car is moving fast. Um I think the next thing you have to do now is like try and get it start. Try and get it start and then we go from there. So yeah, slowly, slowly. Um, I think the hardest, well, the easiest part's done. He thought that was the hardest part, but that's the easiest part. Now the hard part comes, because now you have to get wiring, get the car wire up and all that stuff to get it start, and then you could like whatever else after. But the build is coming good. It's coming along good. Um, let me, go, I see you guys like the build. Let me know what you guys think about the, the car. What should we call it? Honda ZZ? Hunzi? Should we call it Hunzi? <laughs> what should we call it? Hunzi and I said it was the first in the UK, it's not, it's actually the first in the world. I don't think no one has ever put a 2ZZ engine in a Honda Civic before. So I think this is the first in the world to ever been done. Well, it's in the process of being done. It's, you know what I mean? It's not finished, finished yet, but yeah, it's going to be finished. So, to ever been done. So, bear with us with this bill. It's going to take us some time, but it's going to happen. As you see, motion is going on, things are happening. You know what I mean? Turn around, I'm serious man, we come to you, tired to think so. It's gonna make it happen. So slowly, slowly, you know what I mean? It's gonna happen. Now it's winter, racing season's basically really lock off now. So now it's time to just go in the lab and just start working. So now it's just getting the car ready for next year. You know what I mean? So hopefully by next year, the car should come out. Don't know if he's gonna get a nines, but he's gonna run and he should run good with the way how he's setting up the car, it should make a nines. But when the time comes, you see, because racing is completely up to a lot of things, you know what I mean? Down to your tuning, down to your setup, down to everything, just, everything just have to work together to make a car successful. Me could tell you, because, yeah, why for the sucking thing still, but yeah. So, we're going to go over there now. Um, guys, if you have not make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and put your notification bell on. So you know if I'm going to drop this video. Um, yeah, it's level up season 11 of R2024. I appreciate you guys so much. The last few videos, you guys are running the views up. You know what I mean? Running the views up. I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure to comment. R2, all my new subscribers as, as well. Welcome, 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 welcome. We got big things coming for the rest of the year. Um, we're soon going to Antigua as well. DC5 is getting put together in months right now. I didn't get to do much, but it's been getting it's been getting sorted out. You know what I mean? So that car is going to go to Antigua. So we have a trip going to Antigua soon. Uh, for legendary drags, we will be there. The DC5 will be there. So anyone that's messaging me wanting to see the DC5, the DC5 will be at legendary drags 2024. And we are not coming to win any races. We are not coming to win no class, win no group, or win no trophy. I am coming to put a time down to make that DC5 stamp in Antigua. That's the plan, and that's what we're coming to do. So let's know the car's getting ready, and it's going to be ready. But we're not talking about a DC5, it doesn't make any sense. A lot of people messaged me and comment under the last video telling me that they want to see a DC5 in Antigua. It's going to be there. Just for you guys know, it's going to be there. So anyone that's looking forward to that, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So let's get over to Terra now. Let's get over there and let's show you guys the car. I'm going to show you guys how the setup. Outside is freezing, I'm not going to lie to you. Outside start to get cold. Winter is in the building. If you're in the UK, you know what I mean. The winter is here, bro. Winter is here, but... We have to do after we still have to get up, we still have to go, we still have to get grinding. Still got my crocs on. Still got my crocs and socks on the every day, all day. That shit don't change bro, no matter the weather. But yeah, let's get over there. As I say, 
I stay tuned for this build because this build is going to be crazy. This build is going to be something different, something that you guys never seen before. And I can't wait as well for it to finish. But as I say, everything takes time. God and time and anything is possible. So stay tuned and stay. Just stay tuned. Just stay tuned for what's to come. But yeah, let me get over there now and I'll show you guys what I'm going on. Yeah, guys. So I'm here now. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. Yeah. But let me show you guys the car. Let me show you the car first before. Yeah, show you guys the car first before anything. Let me show you guys the car. You guys, I see the car already, anyway, but let me show you the car already. But I'm going to show you guys how the engine fit in the car. And you know me, I'm going to show you this as well. Yeah, yeah, the color panel. You know, I'm tired. I'm, I'm not a tired person, but this car, it just look the color on it just look sick. And the neighbor here, and the man in my video here, but the color on it just look sick. But guys, I'm here. I'm standing for the car now. Hopefully, you guys can see me. Let me put a little bit of light in. Yeah, I'm standing for the car now, and I'm gonna show you guys how the engine fit inside the car. We're gonna call. What, what are we gonna call it? Hunzi. Hunzi, Hunzi or whatever. But yeah, let me show you guys what is going on. How the engine fit in the car. It's in now, bolt in, everything. So let me show you guys what I'm going. Here we go. So this is it. So as you see, he used the K-swap, K-swap mounts and they make a bracket from here to here. But then the guy didn't just make, didn't just use the mount, the bracket here. He used another bracket and lean because we wanted the engine to be lean. If it, I don't know if you can see this, but the engine is lean forward like this, really like like this a bit. So it's lean forward, and see the back mount there as well. He used the case what mount, but he made a bracket to come from the mount itself and then go to the gearbox. So that's why it's there. And then this side, I'll show you guys the way. You see how it is on this side. So he used the case swap bracket again because this is the case swap bracket and then he just fabbed the bracket here in the mount to lean it forward because Tyrone wanted the engine to be leaned forward for better ear coming to the engine because he's going to untrack the bodies here and then yeah well you guys are going to see all that I'll tell you guys all that way so this is the whole whole setup in the car you see how the car look now I told you guys when you guys see the car next car next the engine is going to be in and the engine's in his, as his, I don't know if you can see it man, but it's leaned forward a bit. So, comment down below know what you guys think about it man. Let me know what you guys think about the engine. Let me know how you guys think it looks. Tell me you can run the stock intake for now. Get the car started. Truck by using to go. I'll show you guys at the back here as well. He's gonna need to get exhaust made, up pipe made. Okay, I think he's putting the up pipe through the bonnet off from here. Because there's a hole here ready for it. Through there, but yeah, the engine is in the car, mate. Engine is in the car. The two ZZ engine is in the car. There's a Toyota engine in a Honda Civic. One of one in the world. Never been done before, bro. Never been done before. First, I thought it was the I thought it was the only one in the UK, but it's not. It's the only one in the world has ever put. 2ZZ engine in a Honda Civic. Never been done before. Never. So, yeah, let me just show you guys again when I go on. There's big plans for this car. Big plans for this car. This car is going to get a full engine makeover, everything. As I said, now we're just getting it mock up, everything mock up and put together so we know what's what and then after. Everything's going to be changed. Everything. Full engine build, everything is going to go. It's a big plan for this car. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you guys just, just stay just stay tuned for this bill, you know what I mean? The bill is coming. The bill is coming. The bill is coming. So yeah, this is oh, this is how it looks, right? The engine is in the Civic. The Toyota 2ZZ engine is in the Civic. I never know about 2ZZ. I knew, I knew about 2ZZ but I never know about 2ZZ until now. I've learned so much about Toyotas from this build. From this build I learned so much about Toyotas. I'm not going to lie to you that I didn't know about but that's how it is it? You learn as you go and I'm just learning as you go. Just learning as I go, you know what I mean? But show you guys what I do.
Pretty tender, but pretty taught me ugly lessons. Pretty had me giving more than I was getting. So pretty don't come with something more than I did it. Shame to tell my friends how much I do for you. This is how the most was running three months. We're gonna get a plate from here. One plate from there, then I don't wanna go now. To the Chakshima and Chakshima come to make it the brace like a brace kind of thing there. As well to go there, but yeah. This is the car. This is how the engine looks in the car for now. Yeah, this is how it looks. It's coming together. Coming together. Slowly but surely. You know what I mean? Too easy engine. In the Honda. In a Honda. Um yeah man, but yeah. That's it guys, I don't wanna talk you guys too much. Nothing has changed inside. Inside still the same. See it has not been put within the seat bracket. We just wanted to get the engine in first and then whatever. So inside is still the same. But yeah. Everything is st still the same. It's just engine's in. As I just tell you guys, I tell you guys the next time you guys see this car, the engine would be in. And the engine's in. My name is So stay tuned. Just make sure you guys stay tuned for the build. Because the build is gonna be crazy, the build is gonna be lit. And there's so much more that we need to do, but it's coming in. Guys, it's coming. It's coming together. The engine's in now. The last time you guys see this engine, it was on the ground in in the engine bay, but it was on the ground. Now it's in. Bolt it up. Bolt it up. And in. So all of the all of the tire guys out there that's watching this video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys feel about this build. All the hundred guys as well. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this build. You know what I mean? But. It's something, it's something different he wanted to try it because he said the honda have more stuff you could put to the front for traction and stuff like that when you put the stylus and stuff it's harder to get like traction and grip so he tried it with we, we, not tried it we're doing it and it's going to be happen i think next we need to sort the brakes out as well because when we get the shell there was no brake line in here so we're going to get the brake line sorted out next and then after we try to get the engine wired up or engine start so again guys stay tuned for this build this build is going to be lit i'm not going to lie to you this build is going to be crazy i'm just excited for what to come because i know i know what's to come but you guys need to just stay tuned for what's to come and it's going to be crazy build as i said there's a lot needs to needs to be done to the cars well to get it running but slowly but surely it's going to happen as you guys see we're making moves you get me there's moves the engine's in and just you know what I mean? Is it we're making moves? So just stay tuned, and then you guys are gonna see what's you know what I mean? what's to come. Just stay tuned, you guys. What's to come? I want you guys to comment down below what name you think we should name it. If it's the Hunzi, Hunzi, or the just comment down below what name you think we should name the car. Hunzi or Hunstuzi, Hunstuzi. I don't know. <laughs> comment down below, guys, and let me know what name you think we should name this car. You know what I mean? And just let me know what you guys think about it. I just let me show you guys one more time. This is the bill. Engine's in the car, mate. Engine's in the car. As I say, and this car, this engine is so similar to our K series. The way how he sets up, the way the alternator is, the way how he sets up, and everything. So I think it's a bit bigger. Like we was looking today, I think it's a bit bigger than a K series. But it's set up similar to how a K series set up. So now it's just. I think the hardest part is the wiring, getting the wiring and the ECU, get it start. I, I told Toran as well, from we get it start, everything is going to be easy. Like we need to get the, this stock engine, wire up to an ECU and start. And after that, we could change the intake, we could change the gearbox, we could change engine, change whatever. You know what I mean? Because then we know it's a running car. But it's going to happen either way. You know what I mean? Either way it's going to happen. As I say, it's winter now, race season is practically over in the UK. So now it's just hands on work and just start working on this car. You know what I mean? So next year we will definitely be coming out with this will definitely be on the road next year. This will definitely be somewhere on some track next year. So just look forward to that. Look out for that one. And you guys are gonna see this one, you know what I mean? Just stay tuned guys. Just stay tuned. But I'm not gonna not gonna chat there too much, you know. I just brought you guys to see the car, see the engine. In. As I said, I wasn't there when the it got picked up on the tow truck, so I didn't get to see it get picked up. You guys, didn't, I didn't get to show you guys that, but I come out today and I was busy because I was busy working. So I came out today, get this done. Outside is freezing. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
I need a big jacket, man. I ain't got no jacket. I'm a jumper kind of guy. I said it's freezing, but I came out today to get this to show you guys how the engine is in the engine bay. Because as I say, next next video, guys, you guys are gonna see it's the engine in. So if you guys have any question, anything, anything I could answer, or whatever, just comment down below. We get the engine in, how the bracket, how the fab, what the fab guy did, or whatever. You guys can ask anything. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video, guys. Guys, I'm gonna end the video here. As I said, comment down below. Let me know what you name you should name this car. On ZZ or whatever it is and just comment let me know what you guys think about the engine in the Toyota engine in the Honda and the opposite way around well thank you guys so much for watching as I say I appreciate the love I've been getting from you guys and the car videos you guys are loving the car videos I appreciate you guys I got a lot of traveling coming up not next month but the month after like we're going Antigua we got a lot of things planned just stay tuned and you guys are gonna see what to come um yeah Make sure to like, comment, subscribe guys, put your notification bell on so you get notified when I drop these videos. And it's level up season, we're leveling up for the rest of the year. Anything we want to do for the rest of the year, we're doing it. We don't care if it's cold, we don't care if we're tired, we don't care if we're sleepy, we don't care about nothing. We're going to get up and we're going to go do what we say we're going to do. So that's what happens, we get distracted a lot with the phones, you know what I mean? Just do what you have to do guys. Um, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. It's your boy Roland. I'm out. Peace.